um, you get the chance to go into fundamental research. So you can just um, liaise with a, a professor within an institute like Trinity College and look to get a PhD. Graduates often will go into the computer industry. Computer chips are going smaller um, year on year and as a result they're already down to the nano level. But there are other more different ways. For example, green technology, solar cells is, is a huge area of, of nanotechnology. There's also medical device companies as well. And many things they wish to develop require specific materials uh, which are not biological in nature, but require materials which are often strengthened uh, to be placed in the human body, for example. Stents are one particular example. What you can do is you can go directly into industry, and there are numerous industries out there like Intel, Hewlett Packard, Boston Scientific, Pfizer. All of these guys would be very interested in graduates to have a knowledge of both physics and chemistry. This piece of equipment here is, uh, is a furnace which allows us to be able to grow very exotic forms of carbon, for example, graphene or carbon nanotubes. It's a very fast ramping furnace, lights on and off it goes. So within a couple of minutes we would be able to grow carbon nanotubes in this furnace uh, and if we had done this about 20 years ago we would have won the Nobel Prize. <laughs> it's about playing in fact, it's, it's a little bit the way kids grow up, they, they play with paints, they play with all kinds of things, it's just this is my job now, I get to play with materials and very expensive pieces of equipment, new toys.